Yeah. So uh, I'm trying these uh, loops. I was doing this out in Colorado and Gunnison uh, in 2019 with varied success. Um, it's really frustrating because this pedal is not really designed for beats. Um, so I'm playing the Roland directly into, I'm using this aux cable because the freaking Roland has a uh, eighth inch output, which I find to be just silly. But uh, I already tried several different versions of getting this beat to uh, match up to be, uh, to not have the terrible seam in it. And it, yeah, I tried to cover it up. I figured out how to do this uh, three years ago. I mean, it just requires uh, good timing and a lot of trial and error. But I wanted to catch a little bit of this rhythm because I, sort of, I kind of like this, but it's too flawed to um, continue with at this time. So I need to get it right. Or The point about this, what's so good about it is you can make one that has these flaws a hundred times, but that the, the one you really want is the one that has the magic that you could only have done because it's so difficult to do, you know? That, that's what makes this a rewarding process. I have one track that once I got it locked in, I, I just left it on for like an hour and a half because I was enjoying it so much. And I did, you know, a bunch of overdubs over it. It was great. So I'm going to actually try to get one I like here soon before breakfast. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. <laughs> Maybe too annoyed to uh, pull it off. But uh, I'm just going to let this roll for another 10 seconds. The wire jumble. Beautiful. It's like a big mess. Get the beat better. Alright. Now, see, that's a glitch. It's just clunky. The clunky glitch. Clunky glitch. Not okay, not acceptable. Send it back! <laughs> I really need breakfast. 